Today we're going to talk about customizing the Mastercam interface. And when I say customizing, I mean adding, removing things from your quick access toolbar, maybe from your ribbon bar, or maybe changing the way you see your toolpaths, uh, solids, planes, and levels manager. So there are a couple of different ways to get there. First way I'll show you is through the file tab. And you go down here to options and you'll have a little window pop up here. Another way you can do it is go right up here. It says customize quick access toolbar. You go down to more commands. You'll see it opens up the same window as the other one. And then there is another way to get to it, which is just up here in your ribbon bar. You can right click and say customize quick access toolbar. So the first thing I want to go over, and this is one thing that uh, I personally like to add into my quick access toolbar is I'll go to the little drop down menu and I'm going to go down to file tab and then I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to find merge. I use merge a lot when you're bringing in solids or uh, bringing in fixtures. Wherever is highlighted it's going to insert this below that. So maybe before we do that, we'll put a separator in there. And a separator meaning the little bar that goes in between here. So we're going to add a separator. Say add. Oops, I did two of them. We'll just simply hit remove to remove that. And I'm going to select merge and say add. And now if we close this by saying OK, you'll notice up here in my quick access bar, I now have the option to just click on merge and I can go directly to finding the solid or the model that I want to bring in without having to make the extra clicks of going into file and merge and so on and so forth. So let's move on to the ribbon bar and we're going to go to customize ribbon. And again, you can add and remove things that you do or don't want to see in there for instance uh, if you don't have art and you don't want to see art up here but I want to add one in just to show you that you can add one into your maybe your own tab of uh, things you use frequently so we'll go in and we'll say new tab and we're just going to rename it my tab we can say okay to that and then under my tab you got your new group now if you want to go in there and add some things say I want to go add just the mill tool pass that I use maybe all the time maybe I want to use a add a contour to that and drill and maybe we do a lot of engraving and we can say okay to that and now if you notice there's a tab up here it says my tab now my tab has maybe those four or five or six things that that you use on a regular basis that you want to see so we're gonna go back in and maybe you don't want my tab all the way over here maybe you want it between your home and your wireframe so we'll go to customize ribbon again we'll click on this one and we're going to click the little up arrow over here to the right and we're going to move it all the way up to right where it's just behind home we can say okay to that and now you have your home tab you have your my tab for the things you use most and then you still have your wireframe surfaces solids drafting, machine, so on and so forth, and you'll still have your toolpath once you select a machine. If you don't want that anymore, it's simple. Just click on it, right click, and say delete, and it's gone. I'm going to turn my art back on. And now let's cover the context menu, which is your right mouse click button. So in your right mouse click button, you can add anything you want to add to your right mouse click. Some people, I've seen them where they have 50 different things on here. They don't want to have to go search. Kind of like making a My Tab. You could have Contour Drill Toolpath. Just say, click on that. If you want to add a separator in there, just right click and say Insert Separator. And we could drag or the separator right above it. And now you'll have a separator that has a drill toolpath. We'll go ahead and add Contour to that. And let's add Facing to that. We can say OK to this. And now when we right click down here where we added our separator, we have a face tool path, a drill tool path, and a contour tool path. And these are just simple little things to, to help you navigate the software much faster and breeze through Mastercam with ease. So one other thing I want to cover in there is options. In options, if you'll notice, you have manager panels, large icons, tab position, top or bottom, and that's meaning what 
you have for your tool paths, solid levels, planes, whatever you have active in here where this is located. You can either have them at the bottom or you can have them at the top. And you can have large icons. You can also change the theme of your interface. Right now my theme is set to white. We'll just say dark gray for now. And maybe we'll go with purple. Say OK to this. Now if you notice it changed the color of my background when I highlight the ribbon bar the background is purple. But if you also notice made your icons over here much larger. And then I'm going to talk about quick masks which quick masks is your little circles around here that allow you to use Mastercam to just select points, just select lines, arcs, splines. But if there's some of them in here that you don't want to see or maybe you never use, maybe you just want point lines and arcs um, and maybe no splines, maybe no drafting. Now that we've made those changes, if you notice, they'll go away. These got a little bit smaller over here because we took some of them out of the menu. Another thing I wanted to cover real quick within your tool paths and, and solids, you can change the background color, the line color. You can also change the font. Uh, I know this is a, an issue for some people. It gets pretty small when it comes in default. You can come in here in the font, font and change it. We'll just go up one size to 12. And if I pick a tool or machine, we'll just pick the default machine, you can actually see those results as you make them.